You're watching USA, America's favorite cable network. From Hollywood, the television capital of the world, it's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potato! <laughs> Hi there, I'm Joe Alaski. Oh, Rob. Now here's our host and my next door neighbor, Mark Summers. Hi there, gang. How are you? We have the uh, Avengers. Hi, Avengers. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to Cast Potatoes. This is a game focusing on the best of television, both past and present. And guess what? You never know what show might pop up back there on our TV sets. And before we find out, let's read our two teams. Starting to my left, they call themselves the Avengers. And uh, we have with us today Nancy. Now, is it Carol or Carol Lee? Carol Lee. Carol Lee. We didn't get a chance to meet before. Normally, we do. And Brenda, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. Now, Carol Lee, is that a... Uh, are you from the South? Normally, people from the South have two names. Good guess. Yeah? Where in the South? My parents are from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, boy, I was just out at Graceland. What an interesting place that is, Wonderful huh? Wonderful place. Yes, well, good. And uh, Nancy, uh, you... Now, you look nervous. You've got to loosen up here. <laughs> you're, you're all clenched up there. I want you to have a good time. I want you to win some money. Well, how did you get us all uh, together here today? Well, Carol Lee's my sister. Uh -huh. And Brenda's our maid. No. <laughs> Brenda's your maid? Are no, you serious? No, no, I'm joking. No, Carolee's not really my sister. She's not no. really your sister. <laughs> no. Carolee is my sister and Brenda's our friend. I see. And Brenda, how do you feel about being called the maid? I've been called worse. I see. <laughs> Robert, my yes, exactly. Okay, good luck to you. Over here we have a team. Uh, they won $7,000. They call themselves the Three Stooges. <laughs> Hello to Sherman. Oh, yeah. Hello. And to the uh, lovely Daryl. <laughs> and, uh, Daryl doesn't look too happy. And Jeff. Hi, Hi, Jeff. Well, you did it yesterday. And what was the show you wanted on, Sherman? Oh, uh, God. It was Switch. Switch. Pass, pass, pass. 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 It was you a know, show pass called pass. pass. Yes, that was it. Well, good. You, you won that money and uh, figured out how you're going to spend this at all, Daryl? Uh-oh. I have to uh, confirm with We stumped with him, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He has no idea. Oh, no. Uh, Actually, he owes us a little money, so it's going to work we'll out just fine. Good. <laughs> yeah, five bucks. <laughs> That'll be it. All right. Let's, uh, let's explain the rules here. You want to do it, Sherman? No, nah, why don't you do it? Oh, okay, good. That's fine with me. <laughs> We're going to ask you anything and everything about television from daytime, prime time, even commercial time. And anytime there's something on the tube, Sherman, who's going to be there? A couch potato. Oh, good. I'm so yeah. glad you said that. Each round begins with a tune-in question, and the team that answers correctly earns 25 rating points and control for the spin-off questions that follow. Whichever team has the most rating points at the end of that game will win $1,000, then go on to our Channel Roulette bonus game for how much, Nancy? $5,000. Oh, good. You know the rules. I'm so happy about that. Here's our tune-in question for round number one. Good luck to the Three Stooges, as well to the Avengers. Casey Jones, The Midnight Special, or Super Train? Which of these derailed itself into rating? Yes, Sherman. Super Train. Yes, after less than 20 weeks on the air, that was Super Train. Good job. 25 rating points for you. You've earned control for this round's spinoff question, and uh, it's about TV flops. Okay, TV flops. <laughs> I think we're going to do it while we have Okay, here we go. After the major success of its predecessor, this next spinoff was widely anticipated. But when these Korean War vets went stateside, yes, Daryl? After MASH. After MASH, yes. It just lasted about 13 weeks, I guess. And then it went away. Continuing on with flops, Sherman and Jeff. What are the most... I didn't mean that personally, Sherman and Jeff. It's just uh, continuing on with <laughs> flops. Is that yes. When I get these guys. <laughs> One of the most highly publicized talk shows of all time. This show should have been called Thin Comedy of the Evening. Yes, Sherman. Thick of the Night. Thick of the Night. You are right. Didn't seem to hurt Alan Thicke, though. Uh, he's he's going on? Okay. Yeah, he's doing real well. Well, Jeff, <laughs> the final flop of the day is, after her success in the film 9 to 5, many people thought this performer would have a surefire hit with her musical variety show. But unfortunately, it was a big bust. Name this country western star. Yes, Jeff? Uh, that would be Dolly Parton. Yes, that would be right. You, uh, you've answered that correctly. Dolly Parton, you have 100 rating points, uh, Stooges, and uh, no money here yet, Avengers, but I'm sure that will change. Let's move in to our next uh, tune-in question. Pickles, Cucumber, or Sheila? What was the name of Buddy Sorrell's... Yes, that would be Carol Lee. Pickles. Pickles, Sorrell, you are right. 
You have 25 rating points and uh, my favorite show, I think, of all time, and that is the Dick Van Dyke Show. And here is our first uh, question based... Oh, gosh, who could this be? Let's find out. Let's uh, come over here. here. I'm so you need some help? Who's here? Yeah. Hi there. Uh, wait a minute. You look familiar. I know who you. you. You're Richie Petri, all grown up from the Dick Van Dyke Show. It's Larry Maggio. Right. Come on in. Hey. Hello, Mark. Hey. You want to put that down? Or? How you doing, buddy? Thanks. This is a heavy. Yeah, I can imagine this. Now, I said Larry Mazio, yes. but uh, that's your real name, but you used okay. Matthews on the Dick Van Dyke Show. That's correct. Why yeah. is that that you did that? Well, because <laughs> when they did the Dick Van Dyke Show in the early 60s, they changed the name because uh, I wasn't allowed to be Italian at that time. I'm sure there's a reason you're carrying this ottoman here. You want to explain that? Well, it's it's kind of a force of habit. Mom kind of makes me take it with me every time I leave the house because <laughs> Dad's always tripping over it. Now, so. I see. Can I just put it down? Yeah, just put it down. Oh, thanks, bro. Go ahead. That's great. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Careful about that. Don't That's trip okay. Over no, that. no, no, no. Let's get out of Just move it out of the way there. So that would mean that if you... Oh. <laughs> like father, like son. Good thing you didn't trip over the couch. You look like Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good big arms. Big arms. We're going to be doing some questions based on classic series Dick Van Dyke Show, and oh. these ladies have uh, control. Over here? Over here. Okay. Um, well, let's... I got a good one for you. Here All right. Uh, my dad, Rob Petrie, was a writer, a head writer for a egotistical maniac who was uh, his own variety show. It was played by Carl Reiner. What was the name of the variety show? Yes, Carol Lee. The Alan Brady Show. That's right. it. Alan Brady, Alan oh, Brady. Episode, right? That was. Remember that episode? Yeah. Was that the Christmas episode? Christmas episode we did one time, and then they rerun it every year. Oh, it was great, though. It was good. Okay, let's see. Nancy, Brenda, two more questions coming your way. Oh, a couple more. Um, Petries. We lived in a typical suburban East, uh, East Coast town. Uh, what was the name of the town we lived in? Do you remember? Oh, that's a tough one. Carolee knows, but she can't answer. Brenda, Nancy. Okay, time's up. Can you take it over here? Yes, Daryl. New Rochelle. Yes, right. That's right. New Rochelle, New York. Control the switch now, and the three Stooges can answer this last one. So, Sherman, Jeff, here you go. Okay, Jerry and Millie Helper were our next-door neighbors. Millie was, of course, a neurotic housewife. But what did Jerry do for a living? Yes, Jeff. He was a dentist. Yes, that is right. Another 25 rating points. And now the three Stooges have 150. We have 50 here for the Avengers. Everybody has a favorite episode. Uh, you worked on the set. You must have one that stands out in your mind. One of my favorite episodes was the one with the uh, Twilo. You remember Twilo? Oh, the, yes, with Danny the Thomas. Walnuts and Danny Thomas, and right. They remember came, that he one? Was the alien, and they came down. That was the one. I like that. He had perfect 2020 20, 20, 20, 20 vision. vision. Yeah. Did you, it always you. looked like you were having the answer right. I see you. You looked like you were having a great time there. Oh, we did. Now, you went to school. You were how old when you were doing that show? Five years old when we started. Really? Yeah, ten and when we stopped. That's great. You have good memories? Are you still in touch with Mary and Dick? Uh, every so often, we come across each other in reunion things or, you know, such of articles or TV shows or something that they have all of us together. And then we still talk to each other. Run into them across now in the business. Do you really? Were they funny off stage as they were on stage? Always. And wonderful people. That's just, nice to just hear. Just really a wonderful storybook cast kind of crew atmosphere. You love great. to hear that because in show business you always hear this guy was a bad guy. That was so these people no, were. Was, it was really nice, which glad. is why I think the show did so well. It showed. And know. it still does well, and uh, it's one of my favorites. And these guys are shaking their head as well. Thank you. Very Thank much. you, Larry, for Thanks, being Mark. here today. Oh, Absolutely. Good to see you. We're going to come back with round number three. Catch the potatoes right after this. Now let me see. Can we take this over here? Let's see. Right this way. Hey, did you know that the Dick Van Dyke Show's pilot was not called the Dick Van Dyke Show? It was called Head of the Family, and the lead part was not played by Dick Van Dyke. It was played by the show's creator, and who later played Alan Brady, of course, Carl Reiner. That's right. And uh, the rest is TV history. <laughs> well, we'll be right back after these words. See you in a minute. This sink was cleaned by Albert's mother. She got all the tough, greasy stains she could see, and lots more she couldn't see, because they were way below the surface in teeny tiny cracks. Albert's mom used Comet with bleach-boosted Chlorinol, which, unlike her old cleanser, penetrates tough grease better and bleaches way down deep. Next time, consider Comet, considering what happens in sinks. For dirt you see and dirt you don't, Comet, deep down, you know it's better. This Campbell's Microwave Idea is brought to you by Prego. Homemade taste, it's in there. Make your mornings easier by softening brown sugar in the microwave. Place one pound in a microwave-safe container and cook on high for 30 seconds. 
Store what you don't use on your oatmeal in an airtight container. For syrups, place one third cup of syrup in a glass measure and microwave on high for 20 seconds. You'll have a delicious warm topping for pancakes or French toast. America's two leading spaghetti sauces, Prego and Ragu. As you can clearly see, thick, rich Prego comes out on top and Ragu comes out on the bottom. See it for yourself. Prego spaghetti sauce comes out on top. If you took an Actifed tablet for your cold, there's something you should know. Contact maximum strength caplets work twice as long. Until there's a cure, there's contact. I'm hoping you can find a twist for me in the personals. You can find anything. You're not a single white male. You're married. Even murder. Do you tell them that you're a writer? No, he doesn't. In the personals. You don't know what kind of crazies are out there. He was cheating on you! Stephanie Zimbalist, Jennifer O'Neill. He loves me. Personals, a USA world premiere movie. Wednesday at 9, 8 central. This man wants Heather Locklear. I don't know what to say. He leveled the city to get her. City Killer on USA, tomorrow at 9, 8 Central. You're watching USA. America's favorite cable network. Where we double the stakes to 50 rating points for each correct answer. Avengers, you're a little behind, but there's lots of time left. You know, they give me these paper clips. I don't know what to do with these things after uh, every round. I'm just holding tons of paper clips. So if you know anything I can do with these things, and I'm sure you do, uh, call us and write us and uh, let us know. Okay, everybody plays. Wild, loud, or obnoxious. Which of these was a female cop? Yes, that would be Nancy. Wild. No, it was loud. Uh, Officer Magruder, Catherine Harold and Magruder and loud. No points, but you guys get control, and uh, we have a spinoff round based on Lady Cops. Okay, so Sherman, Daryl, and Jeff, this first question is for you. Officer Julie Barnes pledged to protect the public, but she often seemed to need the protection of her partners, Link and Pete. Name the series where Julie appeared. Yes, Jeff? The Mod Squad. The Mod Squad is right. I saw... Was it Peggy Lipton who played? Uh, she was on TV recently. She's got some movies because she's back in the business. Married to Quincy Jones. That's right, for years. I don't think they're married any longer. It's Hollywood, you know. Sorry, Peggy. Okay, Sherman and Daryl. On Hill Street Blues, this female cop, played by Betty Thomas, proved that she was just as capable an officer as her male colleagues. Name the character. Yes, Sherman. It was Lucy. Uh, not enough. Uh, yes, we're going to accept it. Yes, yeah. Lucy Bates. Yes, Lucy is the answer. Back when I was a game show writer, I wrote a show called Fun Factory, and she played a housewife on this thing with Bobby Van. Do you remember Fun Factory? Boy, we're talking about TV yes, trivia. <laughs> Two people in the audience. That's why I no longer write game shows. Okay, we have uh, one more question. It's worth 50 rating points. Daryl, you could make it a clean sweep. On Policewoman, Angie Dickinson gave new meaning to the, teen, to the term plainclothes officer. Name her character on the show. Would bring you to 300. He's counting like Mr. Red. He's going like this. No, uh, time is up. Can you take it over here? Brenda, yes. Pepper. Yes, Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper Anderson, that's it. Okay, we're going to add 50 ready points over there. You now have 100 Avengers and 250 over here for the Three Stooges. This is our final tune-in question of the day. Taxi, Iggy and Moe, or Emergency? Which of these is best described by the following TV listing? Iggy accidentally burns down Louie's apartment. <laughs> Yes, Brenda. Taxi. Yes, you're making a fashion statement. We refuse. Iggy's thrown in jail for impersonating a human being. You now have 150 rating points, and the subject now is TV listings. And uh, you could gain about an additional, what, 150 points here. Take the lead if you're correct on all of them. Kit gets laryngitis, and Michael must learn to drive all by himself. Will Listerine work in a carburetor? Tonight, Michael finds out the hard way. Name the show. Yes, Nancy. Knight Rider. Yes, you're right. You now have 200. You could actually tie the game on this next correct answer. And Carolee, Brenda, you're in charge. Partners Bill and Joe search high and low for a telephone fax machine. When a lady clerk tries to sell them a Xerox machine as well, Joe replies, just the fax, ma'am. Oh, name the series. Yes, Brenda. Dragnet. We have a tie game. Just the facts. 
Now, you think I'm responsible for these folks. David Greenfield, our writer, makes me say many of these things, so uh, <laughs> contact him. Take the lead, Carolee, on this one. Siegfried booby traps the cone of silence so that every time it's activated, the chief has to listen to Morton Downey reruns. Can Max save the chief? Name the show. Yes. Get smart. You are right. Look at that, another 50 rating points for the Avengers. You now have 300, and you also have the lead. With a 50-point lead, is that enough? Gosh, I don't know. We're gonna come back and play our couch-up round and see if these guys can make a comeback, like they made a comeback, and then maybe they'll come back. What I want you to do is come back and see the rest of the show right after this. Oh. What a fun category, TV listings. I just happen to be looking at this TV magazine of the future here, and it has a TV listing from the year 1992. Let's see if we can get this one. Sam sizzles when Judy burns the roast. Have any idea? How about the Sam Kinison sitcom show? Goes like this. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, hi, honey, I'm home! <laughs> what do you mean you burned the roast? Do you know the boss is coming out for dinner tonight? Oh, no, the doorbell! What are we gonna do, honey? What are we gonna do? Nothing like a sandwich. Fresh from the desk drawer. Might I suggest a proper hot lunch with lunch bucket meals? From your microwave to your table in seconds. Lunch bucket pasta italiano. Pasta shells in a zesty meat sauce. Mmm, delicious. What could top this? Perhaps country vegetable soup by the fireside. Lunch bucket meals, a proper hot lunch. I'm hoping you can find a twist for me in the personals. You can find anything. You're not a single white male. You're married. Even murder. Do you tell them that you're a writer? No, he doesn't. In the personals. You don't know what kind of crazies are out there. He was cheating on you! Stephanie Zimbalist, Jennifer O'Neill. He loves me. Personals, a USA world premiere movie. Wednesday at 9, 8 central. A special announcement from the C... Osai Guy now delivers. That's right. Now you don't have to go to Chinatown to enjoy the best and authentic old world style Chinese food. Hosai Guy brings Chinatown to you. So enjoy Chinatown's best in the comfort of your own home with a delivery from Hosai Guy. And now when you buy an order of our chicken chow mein, you'll get an order of our famous chicken wings free. That's six wings cooked the Hosai Guy way. For Hosai Guy's authentic Chinese food delivered, call 389-0300. Keith Byers of the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm Wes Hopkins. In football, the best defense is a good offense. Keith is my offense, but he is your offense for answering the 1990 census. One, you get your 1990 census form in the mail. Two, you take 15 minutes to fill it out. Three, you mail it back. Your answers will provide your community with better housing, health, and education programs. To defend your community's future, answer the census. April 1st. Your offense counts for all of us. Welcome back to Couch Potatoes. It's time to play our couch up round. So something like this. One member of each team will compete head to head on every question. The value of each correct answer is determined by our randomizer, which is stopped when you hit your buzzer. There are values ranging from 50 to 200 rating points, as well as a couch-up. Hit that couch-up, and the team which is behind can tie the score with a correct answer. And we've seen that done on the show. You each get two chances to play. The team with the most points at the end of play will be today's champions. The subject of this couch-up round is Saturday morning. On what children's program do the following characters appear? Sherman, Nancy, here's the first one. Mr. Green Jeans. For 200 rating points, Nancy. Captain Kangaroo. You are right. <laughs> 500. We're moving down the couch. Carolee, you are playing against Daryl. Gargamel. For 200 rating points, Carolee, you are right again. Up to 700. Brenda, playing against Jeff. Flubadub. It is the couch if you can protect your lead, Brenda. Howdy doody. You are right. And at the end of our first trip down the couch, the Avengers have 700 rating points, 250 to, for the Three Stooges, and what have we learned from this? These ladies watch too much Saturday morning TV. <laughs> okay, Nancy, up against Sherman. 
Pokey and the Blockheads for 100 rating points, Sherman. Gumby. Yes, you are right. Okay, added 100 to you. Daryl, Carol Lee. Rags the Tiger. The time is up. It is Crusader Rabbit. That means, Jeff, you need the couch up. You have to have control. Answer correctly. If you do, we'll go to a tiebreaker. Brenda, good luck as well. The King of Cartoons. The couch up. You could tie the game. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yes, you tied the game. Congratulations. Okay. I must tell you, Jeff, time was just about up. You did it. You tied the game. That's amazing, Jeff. 700 rating points apiece. I love when that happens, but it's very exciting now for Sherman and Nancy because this next correct answer will determine who goes for the $5,000 today. Good luck. Alvin, Simon, for 200 rating points in the game, Sherman. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yes, you've got it once again. Congratulations. Whoa. like being a little dramatic you guys laid back the whole game jeff brings it up to a tie and then you do it with uh, alvin and the chipmunks congratulations we have to say goodbye to a team i hate when somebody has to lose anyway but to lose that way is really tough ladies you played a great game unfortunately not enough rating points and you know what happens yeah, sorry about that thanks so much for being with us on couch potatoes bye bye see you soon and we will see these guys soon because we're going to come back and play our five thousand dollar channel let bonus game see if they can add to their winnings right after this Whoa. Hello again, Peabody here. If you and your little friends would like to be Couch Potatoes contestants, you don't need a Wayback Machine, all you need is a telephone. And please dial 213-960-2444. Nice work, Sherman, and you other students. Calling all dream warriors, think you're brave enough to face Freddy? Well, now you can put your nightmare knowledge to the test and win money. You can win $250 a day. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-900-860-4FRED. And you can challenge Freddy Krueger in the ultimate trivia game. Hundreds of blood-curdling questions about all my films. <laughs> Still need a few pointers? Well, listen up, lunch meat. Call now and challenge Freddy in his trivia game to win cash. Well, little piggy. I might not get you now, but I'll get you in A Nightmare on Elm Street 6. $2 the first minute, $1 each additional minute. Callers under 18, get your parents' permission before you dial. Mmm, what a rush. As autumn's blush falls o'er the woodlands, the gray tufted ground squirrel makes ready for the coming winter. Gathering nuts and morsels to survive those long, bitter months, but how this little fellow keeps his food fresh is a secret he keeps a tight lid on. Because Rubbermaid servant Saver lids have a seal that never forgets to keep food fresh. Don't you wish everything was made like Rubbermaid? I can really rely on Aspercream. Joan McKee suffers from minor muscle pain. Rub it in here, rub it in good. Aspercream relieves pain fast, and I don't smell like a medicine cabinet. Aspercream, fast pain relief without odor. Aspercream contains no aspirin. This itchy rash needs special treatment. Maximum strength cortisone 5, with the medicine doctors recommend most, gets under the itch for soothing relief and help in healing. See, the rash is gone. Use cortisone 5, with the medicine doctors recommend most. How fast does Dristan nasal spray start to work? Faster than Dolly can pick up a $5 tip. Dristan spray pump works fast to relieve congestion, even sinus pressure. For relief... Faster than tumbleweed in a tornado. Dristan nasal spray. It's faster than... Ever find this in your freezer? What is it? How long's it been there? It won't confess. I'm a chicken from last May. That's why I love the new write-on labels on Ziploc freezer bags. If I want a mystery, I'll read Sherlock Holmes. Put your trust in a Ziploc bag. You can find anything, even murder, in the Personals. Loves me. Personals, Wednesday at 9. We're back with our chance.
champions, the Three Stooges, they were very dramatic today. They came from behind, they won $1,000 going for $5,000, but before that happens, I have this big expensive wardrobe allowance, and I got these pants today. I don't know if you noticed, I just noticed this during the break, I have a hole right here in the pants, all right, guys? So I'll tell you what, if you get $1,000 or 1,000 points and go for the 5,000, I will rip this leg wide open and show my entire body from the knee down, okay? I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, I... I, a lot of motivation. I wish there were three ladies here, but hey, I'm desperate, so uh, we're going to go for uh, the rules over here. And uh, <laughs> behind each of the channel numbers from 2 to 13 is a picture from a famous television show of the past or present. They make me say these things. One at a time, you'll call out a number, and without help from your couch mates, you're going to have to identify each show as it is revealed. Now, each show has a point value ranging from 100 to 1,000, and if you accumulate 1,000 points or more, not only do you see my leg, but you get $5,000, okay? <laughs> However, there is one dangerous channel, and you know what that is? Hey. No, it's the fashion channel. <laughs> Select that channel, and you lose all the points you've earned up till then. But as long as there's time on the clock, you can still earn those 1,000 points. Sherman, we begin with you. What channel today? Number 12. Number 12. That was lucky for you yesterday. Will it be today? Your 30 seconds begin when the picture behind that number 12 is revealed. Good luck. Go. Hey, TV, great. Go on to Daryl. Number six. Number six for 450 rating points. Pass. Go on to Jeff. Number seven. Number seven for 100. Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Right, Sherman. Number eight. Number eight for 350. Uh, 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 pass. Daryl. Number nine. Number nine for 500. The, McCoy, the McCoys. No, that's not right, Jeff. Number 10. Number 10 for 150. Uh, Dynasty. Right, Sherman. 11. Number 11 for 400. Uh, um, Froggy, uh, uh, pass. Oh, time ran out. Doggone it. Well, you got 250 points, a dollar for each point. That brings you to a grand total of three days, $8,250, okay? Hoppity <laughs> Hooper was it. What else did we miss? Number six was Bert D'Angelo Superstar. Then we had number eight. That was the Gary Moore Show. Then we had number nine. That was the Family Holvac. That was a tough one. And then number 11 was Hoppity Hooper. Gosh, I know you wanted to see the leg and everything. Well, maybe another time. We're going to get these pants sewed up and uh, tell you that that's all the time we have on this show. But be sure to join us next time as we again go reeling to the greatest television shows of all time right here on Couch Potatoes. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. Some of our contestants and studio audience will receive... Skyway's Twist Plus, a 26-inch Pullman offering a new generation of their outdoor twist. New Form Flex construction resists scrapes, tears, and dirt furnished by Skyway luggage. The next generation in salon-style nail lengtheners. Get Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. Brush on like polish. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. It's the Bissell three-way vac, broom vac, hand vac, or tank vac. Super powerful, extra versatile, no bags to buy, by Bissell. Armatron, America's watch for superb quality, design, and value. Incredibly priced, H2O watch by Armatron, the hottest fashion look for your wrist.